seen it, and um, I graduated in 2010, so it's actually kind of familiar seeing see, see, uh, the FAR schools back in the district because when I, when I was there, we would play against the FAR schools, and of course there was only three Edinburgh schools, and then of course we had Harlingen and Harlingen South in our district. So, But I think, I think the gist of it is that it's good to have all four Edinburgh schools back together in the same district. Absolutely awesome. Well, we have here with us now Coach Max Hobecker from uh, Roma, Roma Gladiators, and Coach, the new district for 31-5A, Laredo Cigaroa, Martin, Laredo Nixon, Mission, uh, I mean, not Mission, but Sherryland, Mission Sherryland, Mission Veterans, Valley View, Rio Grande City, Roma, and then Sherryland Pioneer. That's going to be a pretty tough district, Coach. Yeah, definitely, man. Well, how do you feel? I mean, you're, you know, you're over there uh, close to, I guess you would say, a couple of hours, maybe an hour and a half away from uh, Laredo. How do you feel about traveling over there? Well, we're right smack in the middle, uh, both ways. So yeah. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. You know, we don't have to travel too far one way or the other. But we're used to traveling. You know, it, that's no big deal. You know, we're, we're always, uh, I guess it's, it's further for people to come to, it's harder for people to come to us than it is for uh, everybody from Roma just used to traveling one way or the other. So it's no big deal for us. Yeah, and, and even even though you, we say that you guys are part of the valley, yeah. when, you, when you come this way, you say we're going to the valley, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's funny, man. We do say hey, we're, we're headed to the valley. How is uh, how is Roma looking this year? How are you are you guys reloading? Do you all have another powerful running back that you're going to be able to put in place for this coming year? Right now we got nine. Nine coming back on offense and seven on defense. Okay, we have to replace some very good players, but uh, you know that's just a, that's a yearly thing that everybody sure. goes through. You know, we don't get to keep our players for for that long, so it's just a transition period in the off season. You know, creating a new leadership within within our program and and then creating a, an, our own identity because every year our identity has to be very different as far as the leadership is sure. concerned. So I want these guys to take ownership and to run this team inside out. Right, right. You had you made some great strides over the past couple of years, uh, you know, winning the first uh, playoff game ever against Mercedes and, and a comeback victory for you guys. Is there a new tradition? I mean, you've, you've, you've always had good teams. Yeah. You're always knocking on the door. But over the past two years, you guys have just played incredible football. Well, it's about belief. I think that's the biggest difference. Our kids believe that they can go uh, and win every game that we play. Does it happen? No, it doesn't happen. But we go in there believing that we can do it. And I think that might be the biggest difference between, you know, those six and four teams that we're making in. You know, last year we were eight and two, and then eight and three, we count the playoffs. But, I mean, that's a big difference right there compared right. to back in the day, you know. Sure, when absolutely. Things weren't really going our way. But it, it's all about the kids and then the coaches, you know, working their tails off with them year-round. And uh, all, all that dedication has come come full circle for us. Absolutely, Coach. And uh, just how tough is this district? You know, with Sherryland, Mission Veterans, you guys, Pioneer is going to be tough as well. Are you familiar at all with any of these Laredo schools? Cigarro is always tough. Martin well, and Nixon? we scrimmaged Laredo Nixon last year. Okay. Very tough, very well coached. They, they, uh, they made a run in the playoffs. Um, we, we used to play to Laredo Martin out of the playoffs in the last uh, four or five years. Uh, Cigarroa is, is tough. They're the way we used to be. Just They keep knocking on mm -hmm. that door. They're getting better every year. So nothing is going to be a kickwalk right. at all. And our, our district was tough last year, and it only got tougher. Absolutely. Absolutely. What about your non-district schedule, Coach? How does it look like? We've got uh, La Jolla Palmview, mm -hmm. which is a, a playoff team. Yep. And then we had La Jolla High, which was this doing it, you know. But uh, both both good quality 6A teams. I wanted to make sure that we play 6A teams. Uh, I think it's a bigger challenge for us. They got more numbers. They have more kids to choose from. So uh, at the end of the day, you know, our backs are against the wall a little bit, and, and we're really trying to play better teams. Coach, um, go ahead, Kevin. You have a question? Uh, I was just going to ask, Coach. Uh, this past season, we talked on the huddle how, how the formula of this team was playing defense and running the football. So, so is that is that going to be the same strategy next year? You know, having to replace so many guys, or what's what's the outlook for Romont next season? What's going to be that nucleus? That's our philosophy. That's what we believe in as a program. That's how we train. You know, we're going to play great defense and we're going to run the football, and that's what we do all year round. Our coaches believe in it. Our kids believe in it, and uh, and that's just what we do. And and. Uh, that's our philosophy, like I said. You know. So I don't foresee any change. I would like to create more balance in our offense, but uh, we know that we can run it. So when it all when it all fails, we know that we can be successful. Coach, I know. Uh, how are those baseball and softball fields working out for you guys? The turf. Uh, you guys have turf on your baseball and softball yes. fields. PSJ and now Ed Couch also yes. is going to do it. How does that work out for you guys? Because when it rains, how how quickly can you guys go on the well, turf and start playing? First of all, we never have to cancel games except for lightning, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we get to practice on good quality fields 
every single day. And last year, we were to help. We were able to help out our district and other districts that were close by when all that rain came down. So we were hosting two, three games a night, you know. And and everybody's baseball season was able to to keep going. Now with having Ed Couch and Far in the mix. We're going to be able to divide that maybe into exactly. three. And, and that's okay because the most important thing exactly. is the kids, whether they're right. our kids at Roma sure. or any other, anybody else's kids anywhere else. If right. we can help, we're going to help. Yeah, because I would always talk to coach, hey, where are you guys going to play? Well, we might have to go to Roma. And, you know, this is the West Lico yeah. schools. You and know. that's okay, man. We're yeah, good with that. Yeah, the, the day you're like, we have to travel all the way to Roma to go play. And, you know, So, yeah, there will be another one here. And then I've heard also rumblings from other school districts. Yes, that That's the trend is also for them to also start to put uh, turf on their baseball and softball fields as well. The amount of money you save in the long run is ridiculous awesome you know we used to think that it was a, a very heavy investment but now that we've we've done it in football we understood that uh, at the end of the day it's the best thing we could do we put turf on one of our middle schools awesome you know? so for, for baseball see, or softball or no, for, football. for football as well okay for, so it's football soccer sure. so now we're able to host multiple games sub bar city games middle go. school games and not worry about well the field this and the field that our band is on the field all the time it's all go. good man everybody gets to use it and everybody shares and we don't have to worry about the quality of the field we're going to have absolutely any more questions there kevin i'm good right. have you checked out roberson yet your little pitcher over there at roma no not yet yeah we, we spoke with him yesterday and we're, we're expecting a lot of good things from the baseball team this well, year he's let a stud let me tell you something about our baseball team they've been uh working their tails off since the beginning of school in the weight room uh uh, w working on their agility, working on their speed. Those guys, uh, without a doubt, man, they, they they have so much heart, and they get after it every single day. And like like you said, Roberson, he, he does a great job of being a leader of that squad. And he's, he's not a vocal guy. He's a leader by example. Awesome. Awesome, Coach. We look forward to that. Look forward to watching you guys play football, baseball. I know you guys do well, you know, tennis, swimming as well. So things are going well in Roma. Thank All right, you Coach. Very much, Thank man. you very much, Coach Hallmacher. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. Being Thank here. Thank you for having me, guys. Yep. On 956sports.com at the uh, district realignment. And uh, we'll have David Gilpin come in here in a couple of minutes. And uh, so, yeah, uh, looking good there for Roma and, uh, you know, pretty interesting things. We have Coach uh, Gilpin coming in here now. Come on in.